case is fluffy dimension. In addition to fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather useful because everything is ten times lighter than normal. Minor spoiler warning under Toads. I'll try to keep it to a minimum and mostly just show the early parts of the game. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's take a look at... Whoa, what's going on? I think we're experiencing dimensional shifts. Hold on, Undertoads! Full kinetic mass to electricity converter. Portal and Puzzle fans rejoice. It's Quantum Conundrum for PC. From Airtight Games and one of my favorite publishers, Square Enix, comes a new first-person puzzler. Designed by Portal lead designer Kim Swift, Quantum Conundrum puts you in the role of a young boy visiting his kooky scientist uncle, Dr. Fitz Quadrangle. Oh no, 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 no! Ah! Upon arrival, however, things go horribly awry, and your uncle goes missing. So it's up to you and his interdimensional shift device, or IDS, to save him. Similar to Portal and these types of games, you go from room to room solving puzzles. Only in this one, you're given the ability to shift dimensions, four in total, fluffy, heavy, slow-mo, and reverse gravity. Each will change the properties of the object in the room to help you solve the puzzle, making the lighter, heavier, move slower, or go up instead of down. Different dimensions will be available in different rooms, and often you have to find the battery to power all the dimensions you'll need to keep moving. I'm not entirely convinced of your aptitude to handle this situation. Throughout the game, your uncle will be observing you, offering clues, sometimes, but mostly comic relief, much in the nature of Gladys. But not quite up to par with her witty one-sided banter, in my opinion. But I still enjoyed it. Oh. Well, that was a pleasant surprise. Quantum Conundrum does well to keep the puzzles interesting and not too repetitive. At times, you'll not only need to puzzle solve, but do a bit of platforming as well. It's a bit of a quick shift in gameplay style, but still incorporates the spirit of the whole game, adding quick fingers to quick thinking. If you've enjoyed the Portal games, it's definitely worth checking out. I had a lot of fun playing it. I'd say it's pretty accessible, too. More casual gamers will enjoy solving a puzzle or two at a time, while someone more experienced will enjoy trying to find all the collectibles and beating all the challenges solving puzzles quickly, without dying, and with the least amount of shifts. Seems like we're a bit more stable now on our toads, but stay on your toes and check out Quantum Conundrum. Poetry. Almost there. 